Hi everyone. So I haven't made a dev diary for three weeks. I wasn't even on social media for those three weeks. And let's be honest, I doubt many people noticed or cared. Even those who did probably just realistically assumed that I was disappearing into a pit of social isolation and dark introspection. But I wasn't. Well, not just that anyway. I flew away to China, where they don't have Western social media. I was in Shanghai and I even went to a number of touristy places like the Riverfront, the second tallest building in the world, the Temple District, Disney World, and Pizza Hut, which in Shanghai has some great and weird pizzas, but also a durian pizza which really tests my gag reflex. But did I get any work done in space time? Well, a little. I made the external pickup. And after all this time, I finally got round to implementing the female character. Well, mostly. She shares the male animations completely at the moment when she should have a few overrides for things like sitting and maybe an idol later. Now we get to see her in game though, and you can barely tell the difference. She's a little smaller, and she has a different shaped helmet. That's it. She walks around just the same as the male, and she shoots her pew pew ion blaster just the same as the male. But really, what were you expecting? Are you expecting her to wear a space bikini and have her have a big bow in her hair? I mean, for the record, I'm not against bikini warriors in principle, as you'll see later. It just doesn't fit the context of the game. If we pause the game and zoom in, you can tell. But I don't think I'm going to bother making checking the sex of your character an actual feature of the game. At the moment, you still can't even choose whether you're male or female. Everyone's just female because I replaced the male. The true difference is in game proper. Oh wait, no. The character's even smaller here and from an angle that hinders identification further. Man, I really need to get all this stuff tidied up. Look, it's the in-game pickup. Although you still can't actually pick it up. Uh, I should really get back to features that make a significant difference to gameplay. Hmm. Anyway, what else did I do in China? I bought a bunch of super cheap stationery. If you want one of these classic pens, feel free to visit me. I spent a fair bit of time playing Lego with my kids. We do that every time we go because the Lego shop in Disney Town is really cool. I also wrote a trashy fancy novel just because I felt like being in a different headspace. Oh, there were games too. I played through Gunpoint. It's a little stealth puzzler. It didn't speak to me spiritually, but it's a solid game mechanically and something a little different from stealth games you're used to. Then there was Divinity, Original Sin. It's good enough that I'll be getting the sequel, but it can't do math properly and it feels a little dated mechanically, uh, which I suppose is intentional since it's supposed to be a Baldur's Gate style RPG. The last game I played was Luftrousers, which I enjoyed, but I'm pretty sure that Rami Ishmael created this to frustrate other designers, as it seems to deliberately fall short of satisfying the player in almost every way. The last thing I did was start to learn Clip Studio Paint. Being an indie, I think I have an obligation to move away from the market leaders and support some smaller companies. As long as the software is good. Uh, that and I hate subscription models. Uh, so 3D Cloat replaced most of my 3D pipeline, and now I'm trying to remove Photoshop in favour of this. Uh, although I've only really tried one brush so far. So I spent a whole day painting a picture of an old character design from one of the many games I never got to make. Yeah, it's not my best work, but it was a good test of how Clip Studio Paint handles things. And I have to say, although Clip Studio Paint doesn't do image manipulation as nicely, uh, for painting it's probably significantly better than Photoshop. It does nothing to stop me making crappy backgrounds, uh, but I ran out of time and had to cut some corners. So what next, now that I'm back? Uh, I guess with Gamebridge being just around the corner, I should do some triage on space time and decide which half-done features should get sorted and which I should block off. I have two weeks to get something sorted, so for now, I'll get back in my dark little hole. Bye for now.